लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब द चैनल प्रेस द बेल आइकन हेलो सर व्हाट्स अ नेम या आई एम डॉक्टर रमेश उन्ने कृष्णन आई एम द डायरेक्टर ऑल इंडिया काउंसिल फॉर टेक्निकल एजुकेशन मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ एचआर बी गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया सो सर व्हाट आर योर नोशंस अबाउट दिस इवेंट सो दिस इवेंट बाय आईसीसीआई वी फील लाइक दिस इज अ नीड ऑफ द आवर दैट्स व्हाई वी ऑल केम हियर टू पार्टिसिपेट बिकॉज़ यू नो लाइक the what is expected from the new generation that is the budding technocrats or the person students is that rather than sticking on to the routine of getting on to any company working as a slave over there they should try something of their own and the, what is there inside them that should come out and the entrepreneurship is the only way in which uh, our country also could proceed ahead so what points do you think an entrepreneur must remember before starting his, his venture see first of all uh, what it's my personal thought like entrepreneurship is something that could not be taught to someone that passion should come from begin from within and also he or she whoever is t- desiring to become an entrepreneur first of all in my opinion they should get the full blessings from their parents because without the support from the home because it is impossible for anyone to become a successful entrepreneur that to without a passion for it so what are your views on the indian education system see in the education system as of now it's almost it's going in the right place just we are on identifying the stakeholders the important stakeholders as the teachers and the students and even regulators like all india council for technical education we are churning out n number of activities so that every teacher in our country because finally it all depends on the teachers how to groom the students they are treated well their knowledge is updated and also the students our student whether he is studying from an iit or an nit or an a or b or c engineering college he is treated as best in the world as far as his technical know and the social commitment is concerned so sir as different institutes and colleges are being opened day by day so how can we check their quality of education see as you told like so many new colleges are coming up equal number of colleges are getting closed also so i think the present number is almost it is stagnant for the last 3 to 4 years and we aict we regulate the norms it's our norms that has to be followed for any college with it is in kashmir or in kanyakumari and we have a routine mechanism of a random inspection of the colleges once in a year or before the call, first batch of student passes out or if we get any complaints just on checking like at least a minimum infrastructure as post by us the number of faculty salary to the faculty what about the students what about the intake even we have recently taken a call like if the admissions are not up to the mark yeah. it is less than 30 percentage of the approved intake we voluntarily are going and uh, reducing their intake and having a quality check because we you know if students are not there then what about the teachers what salary will be paid to them yeah. so we are now voluntarily coming up like if we even if on a hearsay like somebody is not doing good or somebody is not committed to the profession we have our own mechanism to check it and if found true we will be taking corrective action against them thank you sir it was a pleasure talking to you kindly like share and subscribe the channel press the bell icon